turn on, tune in, drop out. For this crowd of hip young Americans, these six words are shorthand for an electrifying experience most of them know well, an experience called the trip. The trip is a drug-induced mental explosion that has changed their whole way of looking at the world. But for many other Americans, the six words stand for something else, controversy, crime and terror. Turning on, tuning in and dropping out is what happens to you when you take a dose of the strange new drug called LSD. If you're over the age of 40, I'm not sure that you should listen to this record. What I'm going to say might make you mad. I don't like to get people mad. I particularly don't like to get people over the age of 40 mad because these are the people who have guns and handcuffs and prisons, a wide variety of instruments of metal with which they punish people who get them mad. Young people, for the most part, aren't so concerned with control and power. They're much more involved in having fun, being curious, exploring their sensual equipment, you can be anyone this time making adventurous explorations, making love, you can be anything this time try and learn what it's all about. estimated by the Federal Food and Drug Administration that perhaps 15 or 20 percent of our young people today are exploring their consciousness, trying to find out more about their mind using these uh, chemicals. But aren't the majority of them doing it for kicks? I don't think so. I I've been on many television programs uh, where middle-aged people sit around and shake their head and worry about the young people having kicks. And first of all, what is a kick? Uh, it is true that LSD uh, provides an ecstatic experience. It, it gives you an incredibly pleasant experience. But this pleasure is not the pleasure that you get from a, a bottle of beer or that you get from watching even a good television show. The pleasure you get from uh, LSD is being tuned in. You're turned on to your own nervous system. You're turned on to uh, your own body. You're turned on to the incredible wisdom which lies inside every cell in your body. It's the, ex the ecstasy that a scientist gets when he suddenly uh, has something open up to him. You can be anything this time around. You can be God this time around. You've got to be God this time around. You can be anything this time around. You can be anyone this time around. You can be Krishna. It's because it always takes one generation for uh, a new form of energy to be accepted. You know, when the airplane came along uh, 20, 30 years ago, the older generation to a man said, they'll never get me up there. I don't want to get high. Uh, the next generation, everyone's flying around in airplanes. You can be anything this time around. You can be any anything this time around. This time around. You can do anything. You can try out of me. Try out of me. I mean, try out of high school. Try out of college. Try out of graduate school. Try out of junior executive. 